Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video of Marvel Contest of Champions. Today we will be running through X6.1.6 buffed up path. There's a lot of fun fights in this section, especially there is a Modok. There is also a magic that has extra power gain. And to top it off there is a Symbiote Supreme. And you need to have at least 3 or more buffs active on you to get through this path. So stay tuned guys, it's going to be a lot of fun. Before we begin guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications so you are informed about every video that I upload and that really helps and supports the channel to grow as well. So I would really appreciate that. Global node for today is going to be Hurt Locker. So you are unable to use the same special attack twice in a row, otherwise it will give you a power sting and after 5 seconds you will get like a whole lot of damage. So it will be you will lose your champions pretty quick. And later on in the path, you will get buffed up node. So you can only damage your opponents if you have more than 3 buffs active on you. Those buffs can be of the same type. So a Colossus can work with all the armor buffs and Hyperion can work with all the fury buffs and so on and so forth. The best champions you can bring to this path are going to be cosmic champions because they are very buff heavy. So an Hyperion, a Venom, the new Captain Marvel uh, from the movie version. You can even bring uh, Corvus Glaive but you will have to build up all of those charges because those will count as buffs for him. So yeah, even Kamala Khan would work so it's entirely your choice what champions you bring. Just make sure they have good amount of buffs on them. The first three fights in this path are going to be warm up fights. So you have a Moon Knight, then you have a Havoc and then you have Heimdall. So from these three the key fight is going to be Havoc and at this point of the game there are a lot of counters to him. You can bring any champion that has an armor buff like a permanent armor buff so a Colossus comes to mind, a Warlock comes to mind, Angela can work also and also Heimdall. Or if you don't have those you can either bring power stealers so you can bring somebody like a Voodoo. You can just go into L2 and keep burning his power on even combos. Or you can bring uh, OG Vision and just L2 and L1 him so he does not build up those plasma charges and does not give you the plasma blast. Or you can just bring Havoc himself or Cyclops both are immune to them. So it's entirely your choice who you bring. I brought Colossus because he goes well with the buffed up path. I'll be able to use him in the path ahead as well. Later in the path we have some key fights that are going to be against Modok. Symbiote Supreme and Magic. So stay tuned to check those fight outs and how to deal with them and to be not to be able to use any units. I will mention all the fights in the description down below. Just check out the timestamps there. And guys, if you enjoy the video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a like, leave a comment. All of that really helps me out a lot. Heimdall it's a straightforward fight just make sure you keep baiting out his L1 do not push him to L2 because his L2 is unblockable and then he also gets 2 strike so you cannot dex it out as well so yeah, that's guaranteed damage. I think I make a mistake here and get hit by an L2 but just be careful and don't do that. You will notice I'm not able to use another special attack from Hyperion because uh, while I was trying to use the L2. Heimdall uses L1 and it got pushed to a third bar of power already and I already used one uh, special 3 so I cannot use specials anymore. So that's why this fight took a bit longer otherwise it's a small fight. Also guys I'm using rank 5 5 stars during this run. You can also use 455 just make sure to boost really really hard. Make sure that you use your damage boost and your L2 power boost and everything. This is still doable with 455 champions as well. But I would really suggest that for six, X6.1, you do your initial competition with 455 and you jump onto the variants. Get some more rank 5s from there and then you come for the exploration. And that way you will not have to use many resources and you will, it will be the most efficient way to get 6.1 exploration done as well.
So the first fight on the buff tough path is going to be Miles Morales Spidey. Now the key thing on him you need a champion that is able to handle his evade and also has more than 3 buffs. And Venom is the perfect choice for this one because spide all the Spiderverse champions cannot evade in front of Venom so he makes the fight a bit easier. Another thing you need to be careful about is once below 25% health Miles Morales will become unblockable. So you have to be wary about his basic attacks, his special attacks and everything. So all you need to do is to just go in with Venom, keep hitting him and once he is near to 25% have an L2 ready and just blast him with him. So the next fight is against Scarlet Witch. Just make sure that you bring a champion that has a lot of buffs on him and also is poison immune. Because with Scarlet Witch, whenever you hit her with a critical hit, she has a chance to apply a debuff on you. These debuffs can be random as well, so it's always good to bring someone who is poison immune because she tends to give you a lot of poison. So once you take that out of the equation, it's a simple fight. Just be careful on evading his L her N1 and L2s and that's about it. It's a very quick fight, especially with the Hyperion. You just build up your Furies, give her an L2, give her an L3, give her a whack and she is dead. Modok is going to be the next fight. For him, bring a champion that has buffs and uh, is very heavy reliant. So somebody like a Colossus will be really great against him and somebody like an Hyperion would be really great against him. Because you cannot hit him directly in his block because he will auto block you. So the best way is somebody to bring in parry and heavy. Parry and heavy. I used Hyperion, just parried him and have it in build up the Furies, go to your L3 and use it against him. Again just be careful about the global node, it's hurt locker, with Hyperion you can only use an L3, so if you use two L3s in a row, it's gonna cause you a lot of damage. So after the first L3, you just have to do heavies until he's below 15% and then you can use the third one, to uh, the second one to kill him off. But with Colossus, you can cycle the L2 and L3 because his L2 is unblockable. So he's also a really good option for this fight. Next up, we have Symbiote Supreme. I've sped up this fight just to show you that if you bring any champions with a lot of buffs, Symbiote Supreme will easily nullify them, give you a lot of damage and kill you off. So the best way for what I found out was used to use Thing without any synergies. You can always bring Heimdall to give some synergy to him to give him an extra fury. But if you don't have Heimdall, you can bring in Thing. Thing is immune to nullifies. So, Simzirut Supreme cannot nullify any buff on him. So what you do, as you see right now in the video, you build up to an L3 and then you wait for him to attack you either with a special or either just by an attack and you build up your fury charges to 60. Once you have them, make sure you have dexterity charge on you and then you use your L3. So dexterity plus L3 gives you unblockable and unstoppable. So you have three buffs and that gives a lot of damage to Symbiote Supreme. So for the duration of the unstoppable and unblockable buff, you can swipe back, get a dexterity charge and go hit again. So once you have done that, then again you won't be able to deal him damage. 
so what you do again you build up to l3 and you use an l3 again same way make sure you have a deck charge and you hit him now i know this is going to be a long fight this is going it might be annoying might be you might lose your champion but this is the far most stable and effective way to bring symbiote supreme down without even using a single revive so i hope that really helps i sped up all the boring parts of the fight i'm just building again to an l3 uh, you will notice that i got a da i got a lot of damage that brought me down to 20 percent because of the hurt locker uh, node for the global node but that's okay it allows you to use at least four l3s and four l3s are more than enough to bring symbiote supreme down the last one make sure that you kill him off so you can easily finish off the fight if you don't have thing you can just bring in hyperion or you can bring in colossus even angela she has some resistance to getting nullified so you can bring them bring someone with a lot of buffs and try to brute force him but if you i found thing to be the best one to counter him without using any revives or units So the final fight before the boss is going to be magic. Now this is going to be an annoying fight because you will receive a lot of limbo damage. So make sure that you have somebody who is at full health and you can bring them down in one go. Because if you start somebody with 40% health, it's going to be tough. Because you're going to be using champions that have a lot of buffs. And also she has an extra node of energize. She gains 100% extra power. So the best way to approach this would be getting somebody who depends on heavies a lot. In my case it was Colossus. Can be Hyperion as well, can be somebody else as well. Make sure that you have the Petrify Mastery for 3 points. And also if you are not running suicides, you could just go and uh, put uh, all points in that energy resistance mastery as well. So that will help you also in this fight against magic. Otherwise she becomes really annoying and drops a lot of your champs. So I've just used Colossus because he's very efficient at killing her. So you can also bring other champions wherever you please. And then uh, your final fight is going to be against a very annoying sentinel. He has fist cuffs when you start the fight. So any kind of buffs that you have on you, you won't be able to get them for the first 25 seconds of the fight. Then there is also plague mind. Every 25 seconds you will drain your power. And the most annoying buff is all champions apart from cosmic, they reduce their attack damage. So it's not a hard fight, but it's a long one. So the best way to approach it is to bring a Cosmic Champion. Hyperion works really well here because with his power gain buff he can get you to an L1 and L2 and, and you can use it. It makes the fight faster. If not you can bring in other champs as well. Medusa will work really well also in this fight. Just make sure you don't spam the L1 because of the Hurt Locker global node you will die quick. Other champions that would work really well would be any champions that rely on their combo meter and their damage gets compounded. So a Star Lord, Gilly 2099 and even an Aegon would work. But for Aegon you will have to build up your combo meter from the first three fights from Havoc, Heimdall and Moon Knight. And once you have the combo meter up then it's very easy to kill off Sentinel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. If you did guys, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications and also let me know in the comment down below what champions you used and what was your approach. All of that really really helps me out a lot and also supports the channel. I hope you guys have a really good day and uh, I'll see you next time with the final video on 6.16 that would be Acoustic Tempo. Have a great day guys.